How to self-infuse. Now that you have mixed your factor, wash your hands. Then gather your supplies and factor and place them on your infusion mat. Find a comfortable position. Attach the butterfly needle and tubing to the syringe of factor. Push the plunger on the syringe so that the factor goes almost to the end of the tubing. This pushes the air out of the syringe. Wrap the tourniquet around your arm or wrist about three inches above the vein you will use for the infusion. Make sure you can feel your pulse at your wrist or inner elbow or adjust the tourniquet until you can. Use an alcohol wipe to clean the area of the skin above the vein where you are going to infuse. Remove the cap from the butterfly needle and hold the wings between your thumb and first finger with the hole facing up and the sharp end facing down. With a confident push, stick the needle into the skin at about a 45 degree angle. The needle should point toward your heart as it enters and follow the direction of the vein under the skin. Lower the angle of the needle until it is almost parallel with the skin. Don't start injecting the factor until you see a little blood flow back into the tubing. Once you do, tape down the tubing just below the wings of the butterfly needle and remove the tourniquet. Slowly push down on the plunger to inject all the factor. Make sure you're still in the vein by checking for blood return every 5 to 10 cc of factor you inject. When the syringe is empty, remove the needle at the same angle at which you inserted it and place a gauze pad over the infusion site. Apply gentle pressure over the infusion site for a few minutes or until the bleeding stops. Deposit the needle and syringe in the sharps container. Throw away the used equipment and clean your infusion mat. Remember to record the infusion in your infusion log and make sure you have supplies and factor for future use.